hey guys what's up welcome back to our channel now today we'll be bringing you a vlog from price smart just a few hours after the announcement of our first no novel coronavirus case here in jamaica so just journey with us as we go through you know bringing you the live scenes and reactions in the store yes and uh, remember to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel for further updates one of the most striking things we noticed was that i don't know if for those who are used to price smart i mean the area where the trolleys are completely empty completely empty the lines the lines are crazy we could i could actually give you a a little demonstration of, of um what what's going on here basically the lines stretch back of course this is the area where the trolleys the trolleys are kept as you can see the area area completely empty all right and um yeah so lights all gone lights all gone it's one of the main things that we came for all right completely finished the lines see you can see the customers there the lines stretch back stretch back to the to the to the aisle you know yeah man so jamaica today recorded its first case of corona the, the novel coronavirus and of course everybody i uh, mean a mad rush for the grocery stores of course price man where we are at now you know people just trying to stock up on necessary items because they're they're probably thinking that in the very very near future there when, when if 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 there's an outbreak all right now there's no there's no outbreak but if there's an outbreak in jamaica people just would like to to maybe limit their you know their their, their movement to the store you know to perhaps minimize the, the risk of them contracting an infection see the area where the, where the, where the canned stuff are is just it's just crazy it's just it's just crazy everything is just going 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 you know the staff the staff have been busy you know the staff really been busy they've been just back and forth you know this is this is what it what it's been like today you know in price mart hey guys so we're we're exiting price mart first of all look at the parking lot it is crazy because everywhere um, we are heading towards our vehicle we are parked on the ho the outside in front of somebody's yard guys in front of somebody's yard like we could not get a parking space in price mart um so in order to um get inside and get some shopping done and try and get some of the you know lights on the shelf which we didn't get any we walked in and this is the situation traffic all over the place um, I went to the supper fair near near our home earlier today and they were out of Lysol the store is also very busy so it's just a mad rush in Jamaica to get to get cleaning items yeah so this is the line to go to price mart like traffic persons are parked um on the roadside just like we did it's mad crazy in jamaica right now red alert we have one confirmed covid 19 case red alert guys yeah so Today, there was an emergency press conference called by the the minister, the minister of, of, of health. <laughs> what am I saying? The minister yeah. of health, that, that's a Chris Patofton, and as well uh, the chief medical officer, right? She's in charge of the ministry of health. So yeah. all the, the government employed doctors, all the medical 
paternity or M or underneath under her um Dr. B C so. Yeah. So they call up they call a press conference you. today. Even before to they announced I was like, oh crap, oh crap. Let it not be so because everybody was like big press conference. So what happened was a traveller from the UK, she's Jamaican. So she mm -hmm. came to Jamaica March 4th. She flew she flew into Jamaica on March 4th. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I'm here for a funeral. You know, whatever reason she came. So she came and yesterday she was quarantined. So she, she went to the hospital yesterday. Well she showed up yesterday with symptoms and they ran tests. I don't know if you went to a private doctor's office or if you went to the hospital. Um, yeah, not sure. Um, so, you know, get, get treatment. And with the signs that she presented and the fact that she was coming from the UK, they did um, tests um, on her. And she, she came back 11 o'clock today that she was indeed positive. So we do have one confirmed case of um, COVID-19 in Jamaica, which is which is the reason why we are having this here. Like, let me, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the the road. It's just packed. Traffic is everywhere. Um, persons are heading to the closest supermarket wholesale. They are trying to buy Lysol, um, vinegar, bleach, um, hydrogen oh, peroxide. All right, so at the supermarket, right? Lysol is sold out. Not so market, price market. It's like the biggest and the, grocery the store in Jamaica. That I've been to right? is sold out as well. Alcohol sold out. Lysol sold out. That's a spray. Right? The wipes. No farmer disinfectant wipes could have been found. Yeah. Right? Flour sold out. I mean persons are sucking up on food. And this is the this so. is within the first what time is it now? 4.45. This the is first, the first, first five hours. Four and a half hours. <laughs> of persons hearing that there's a confirmed case. Yeah. So, right? So, yeah, well. persons are definitely sucking up from what we've seen. Persons are sucking up on food items. And yeah, we, we did get a few items as well for ourselves just to, you know, to keep up. Right. What's up, fam? So, um, we are here uh just trying to share uh our experience now and our plan basically our reaction um with the first confirmed case of covid covid19 in jamaica today was crazy so after we heard the announcement from the minister of health basically it was chaos chaos ensued like all the supermarkets uh all retail stores all wholesales they have you know them not have no Lysol, no form of um because what happened is the, the more productive ones among us right the ones that force uh miss corona landed on our shores they they actually were stocking up before beforehand and really and truly we're we're a part of a global village and uh it's not like a, it's not a case where the government can lock, lock uh, close our shores you know our, our borders to, to to outside people so at the end of the day, the coronavirus, considering how quickly this is spreading around the world, it's, it was inevitable before it landed in Jamaica. And here we are today, the first, the first case of the novel coronavirus for March, March 10, 2020. Yes. The first confirmed case of the coronavirus in Jamaica. Right, so so as for our reaction, what are we gonna do? What are what are our plans to to um keep ourselves and our family safe? So yesterday I actually gotten some supplies. So we actually have some amount of supplies, um cleaning agents. Uh, we have been talking about um keeping ourselves um safe when we are at work because we still have to work right. um taking safety precautions basically when we are going going throughout our daily activities and 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 just um being very aware of how we interact with person even today mm -hmm. today we were in price marketing supplies right and i saw um the makeup artist at the wedding and we we're so happy that we were like running to embrace each other and just at the 
point of embracing you're like uh no we shouldn't eh, be doing no. this right <laughs> we shouldn't elbow be doing please this. <laughs> we're yes, like yeah, yeah, elbow yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know so we have to get used to the culture of um not doing that close embrace anymore Definitely. um being more vigilant looking out I you think, know environment i, I don't know as it relates to to the supplies i find it quite concerning nothing's available or a lot of what we would need are not available you're talking about the, the Lysol wipes hand sanitizer you name them right now short supply you but know these things are at a premium but we're just hoping that they are on the port somewhere well, <laughs> you know let's hope that they're not coming from China <laughs> um, yeah. but but um but um we have we have other um Measures, other things we can do. Other other plans in place that can that can mitigate the situation. So we are using um, bleach, um, alcohol is another. We're with alcohol at least seventy percent or ninety percent for with alcohol is definitely another option that we are using. We have sprays and we do have um, other means that we're going to use to right. to always. We do we do have some wipes right now. We have yes. some Clorox wipes. We have some of that. I haven't seen any other any, any of that in the stores. No. Actually, today, just today, I got a, a WhatsApp. So basically, us Jamaicans are improvising right now. So I mean, just your spray bottle. You don't need fancy wipes or whatever. So this this uh, this this pharmacy here. I don't know if you can see. So they they made a solution in a spray bottle and basically spraying the hands of everybody that come in. Most likely, it's like alcohol. Yeah. So it's an alcohol, most likely this is like alcohol based. So this is something we can look to do as well. So even if we can't find the, the commercial stuff, we can make our own solution in a spray bottle and, and we travel with that. Yeah, so. so we plan to clean our surfaces, meaning um, we plan to, on a regular basis throughout the day, clean the, the, the door handle of our cars. Right. Um, when we get home from work, wash our first we're thing. Wearing or, or wear mask. Uh, when we get home from work, first thing we're doing is removing all clothing um, that we wore to work and putting them away and washing our hands, um, getting our bodies clean, so that we are not, um, you know, carrying anything into our home. Right. Our home is our safe. Because I know a lot of persons sometimes. A lot of persons sometimes probably their procedure when they get to home is to or maybe the lady, I don't know, men, whoever. They, 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 the procedure what they have is to go straight to the kitchen, start cooking. Hang out in the clothes that yeah. you wore to work. So, I mean, just get rid of those dirty clothes, uh, you know. And wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash, wash your, your wash, face. Yep, yep, definitely. <laughs> you know, take a bath, get it all clean. <laughs> Um, boy, it's scary. It's scary, but we have to, we have to, we have to refrain from from touching. And for those kids, that why our kids is going to is going to be a challenge telling our kids not to touch their face. Touching. And that's one of one of the measures that we have to remember. And I'm gonna to have to sink it into Adrian. Mm -hmm. No touching of the face. Don't touch your face, people. Don't touch your face. Um, no touching of the face. No licking of the lips. Don't try and look sexy. No licking of the lips. <laughs> No, <laughs> no licking of the lips, oh, you know, um, I mean, we are, we are just scared at this moment. We are wondering if, if our health sector can actually take this hit. Um, we are just hoping that persons are vigilant and that this, this does not spread. Where? This person came on a plane with other persons. They went to a funeral. This person went to a funeral. We don't know what they did within the five days that they were before. they were on, on the road. Yeah, basically. So we don't know who who is affected. We're just taking all the precautions that we can, and we're just praying that this doesn't spread past one single person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, when I don't know the type of person, you know, the personality of the person, but I mean, gener generally, when when foreigners come. They would have uh, a lot of people visitors. around them, visitors. So your family are come look for you, you are carry things for your family. Like, you know, I have, I have go a funeral a lot of the times. Or experiences that persons who come down for funerals are oftentimes participating in the funeral. So it's just, it's just something that we have to... 
we just have to try our best to um keep ourselves and our family safe and our kids we have to we have to we have to teach all the children in our families that they have to you know avoid those hands in the face and avoid playing with other kids how would that work right so currently <laughs> this is the only disinfecting wipes that, uh, that we have we basically have. yeah uh, we actually we, we brought this from overseas the other day we, we, we went on a trip right because we, in like late february up to last week we came up last week or a week before mm -hmm. and uh we, we have to get one of these and see now it's gonna come in handy no, no, at least for the few days we don't know how long this is gonna last us <laughs> You know, but but I mean we, we have we have other measures in place that, um, that we are setting up so um we can use alcohol. Alcohol should be at least seventy percent, seventy to ninety percent alcohol. Um limiting we are definitely limiting our exposure to, to persons, no big gatherings. Um when so, we go in big gatherings we are stay really at least a meter away from people. Try to stay at least a meter away from people. If you are even going out having you know, something to eat in public spaces apart from sanitizing the table that you'll be eating. Ensure that the other tables are at least a meter away. And this is something that they need to implement. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if that's already been happening, but I know it's a, it's a, it's a standard procedure in, 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 the, in the rest of the world where they're ensuring that tables in public spaces are well, at least a meter away from each other. What do? Eat on the yard. Where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> eat at eat at home, guys. Yeah, I, we definitely plan to eat at at home. Um, this is not the time to be to be, you know. Because guess what? At this point in time, we don't want we want to to minimize the risk of spread. That's the thing, you know. It's not like say, boy, we are trying to scare people or whatever. That's not it. We are trying to minimize the risk of spread and yes we know that the mortality of the corona the novel coronavirus because there are many coronaviruses around but the mortality rate of the novel coronavirus is COVID is, is, is relatively low like around two to five percent depending on on, on, on on what you read generally the coronavirus the mortality is not as high yes we know this however it it can kill and it's highly contagious that's the thing, it's highly contagious. So in order to, to, to eradicate this from, from, from the world, we need to stop new cases from, from occurring and allowing the persons who are infected to, 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 to be free of the virus. That's the only way for us to, to, to rid the world of, 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 of the novel coronavirus. 